As the city of Surrey continues to threaten Uber drivers with warnings and fines, lawyers for the rideshare giant appeared in B.C. Supreme Court Wednesday in search of an injunction to stop the city. Uber lawyer Michael Fetter told the judge that the city does not have the authority in the matter since ride-sharing has been approved by the province. He used the words embarrassing and shameful to describe the situation. Fetter told the court that Surrey Mayor Doug McCallum is disingenuous for saying he supports ride-hailing while maintaining he will never allow the service in the city. We're going to do everything possible in Surrey um, to stop ride-sharing. I, I do not uh, support um, ride-hailing. And um, I've been consistent um, for over a year in that and even before that. I support ride hailing. I have said that from day one. James Yardley is the lawyer for the city of Surrey. He seemed to direct the focus away from Mayor Doug McCallum, saying the decision to issue business licenses falls outside the mayor's office. The Passenger Transportation Board authorized ride hailing in Metro Vancouver almost two weeks ago, but McCallum has said that the taxi industry needs a level playing field that includes a cap on ride hailing vehicles. The same as for the taxi industry. Even Premier John Horgan has weighed in on the issue. These companies will be able to operate in the Lower Mainland. They will be permitted uh, by the Passenger Transportation Board, uh, and our legislation provides for that. Fetter also told the judge Surrey was effectively banning rideshare drivers by issuing tickets for not having a valid business license while also not providing a mechanism to obtain one. At least one city councillor says she wants to see changes. We do not have anywhere close to the uh, kind of... It uh, transportation infrastructure we need in this city. Uh, we just need to let the provincial government do their job and get on with it. The city of Surrey has been scrutinized for its bylaw officers baiting ride hailing drivers and handing of fines. So far, 18 tickets have been issued in Surrey. A decision on the injunction is expected Friday morning. In Vancouver, David Zura, City News.